Okay, let's uh, have a look at uh, libraries and specifically um, import and export of libraries. Uh, first we go into the library and um, here we've got the original uh, library that comes with the installation. Uh, this is 212, 214 should be the same. Um, let's export this library to start with. Uh, what we do then is we press uh, utility and uh, here we can see uh, import export we've got uh, delete to delete uh, a preset and we've got the selection when we want to export and import or delete um, so um, we can we can scroll oh that wasn't uh, we can scroll and uh, select or we can select all so let's first uh, get rid of this uh, this standard preset library so we export it uh, we don't have to but just keep it um, export and now uh, we can um, we can create a folder um let's uh, let's create a folder called uh, library uh, yeah b for Behringer uh, and create folder so now we've created a new folder for uh, for this library that we can uh, store it in and uh, then we simply press export and the process starts and once uh, once the access light on the USB uh, drive uh, turns off we can continue uh, it's the light is still on even though the, the screen changed but uh, now when the, when the light goes out we know that uh, the process has been uh, completed. So now we've got uh, our original bearing or uh, library here. So let's get rid of it. Utility, select all, and delete. Yes, or the and uh, remember uh, this is not uh, like a computer that asks you first if you want to delete it and then uh, asks you again are you sure you want to delete it this is a uh, one time no regrets so yes uh, I'm not sure if there is an undo option uh, on this bit but uh, you shouldn't really be doing things that uh, you know without thinking that you <laughs> later have to undo so now we have uh, exported the library we have deleted our library so we've got nothing so let's import something um, it's again the same thing press utility you see we we are already um, in the utility section so let's import something now we could um, uh, we could import what we just exported, but let's uh, let's go up one level uh, in, in the drive. And these these two uh, these two dots that's like up one level. Uh, people that are not used to computers uh, in the past days they they don't always know what this uh, means, but it means up one level. So there we go. Um, here I've got some crap here couple of libraries and uh, I've got some presets uh, in the root uh, as well um, let's import something let's find something that uh, that can be useful here um, that one this is uh, some of my stuff that I've been using uh, Okay, we already had that one. Uh, they actually get numbered when they are exported. Uh, but they don't get numbered 
in the same order, or well, uh, they do get number in, in the same order, but not the same number as the place in the library. That's because the numbering starts on zero, and uh, the the press preset positions in the library starts at one. So uh, your uh, whatever is in 54, for instance, will be exported as 53. Whatever is in one will be exported as zero. So um, there c can be some con confusion there. Um, okay, uh, let's uh, there's some preset. Uh, that's like my the preset I use uh, used to uh, to process uh, my speakers uh, and these two. Um, a preset for a radio microphone that's uh, especially for my wife's w voice again and my son's voice and when my vo <laughs> my wife is singing uh, in a different location <laughs> so and some alternatives as well. So, okay. Um, I don't remember what this was, but let's put that in as well. And the rest is, uh, is the original ones. So now that we've selected a few, let's import them. Uh, now you, um, you have to confirm that you want to overwrite whatever you've already got in the library but let's do that yes and we've imported some some presets uh, if uh, if we now uh, not sorry not that was the wrong button um, if we now scroll down to 12 and uh, what the utility and import and we want to import some more so uh, now we will import from 12 onwards so wh whatever is selected here will be the starting point of uh, of the import um, they, w they won't be imported in the order or uh, in the num by the numbering they'll just be imported uh, as a sequence starting uh, in whatever position uh, you have selected okay I think that that should be the basics um, I can't really think of anything else uh, just now uh, so uh, that should be it thank you